Dan, back to back three points with a win today over Breitling C. It's our first Boxing Day win for five years as well. <coughs> what did you think of today's win? It was a good win. Um, it was a slow game. I thought we started poor. Um, I thought our energy levels, our intensity at the start of the game weren't good enough. Um, I planned to sort of watch the first half upstairs uh, and I think I lasted like 10 minutes. Um, so we started poor and I sort of did fire into the boys a bit at half time. But what we did look at is some details with regards to how we generate the tempo. Um, there's, there's little things that you can do to implement the game that affect the game. So if they've got a goal kick, run and go and get the ball, because the goalkeeper was taking 50 seconds every goal kick. So run, go get him the ball, put it on the spot. When we got, when we got set pieces, can we do them quicker? So I think the key was to generate tempo and energy in the game. Um, and after half time, we clearly did that. Eze has been having a real impact lately in games. Um, scoring his first for the club last week and two more today. Are you happy with how he's adding numbers to his game of late? Yeah, but he missed two sitters. Um, yeah, listen, I'm happy for Ez. <coughs> it's, uh, the boy works his socks off and we've almost, he was in there, we had a presentation before and we went through the numbers and we looked at where we were scoring goals, where we wasn't. We looked at goals against. Um, so the numbers were there and don't lie and I've sort of put it onto the midfielders a bit about chipping in with more goals and yeah as he's done it I did lose my head with him with the opportunity he had before but I asked him at half time to pass it into the goal and the second one he sort of did a soul roll and then just passed it past the keeper so yeah I'm happy for him you can see everybody's happy for him um, and it's good to have another person scoring goals another player who played their part today was new signing Javon Splat he looked good out there and picked up an assist on his debut what can you tell us about him Good hold up play, um, enthusiastic lad. It's been something that we've been looking at for a while. I was pleased with his impact as soon as he came into the game. Um, if you look, he had an assist, he was a threat. I thought, I thought he was a big part of the first goal when he sort of come in, held it up, turn. Um, it just gives us something different. We're looking at the, the fine margins in these games. There's a lot of these games that we dominate and don't get results. And what we do as a management team, when we do our analysis, when we ask you to click bits and send them through, we look for the final details and the last bits. And I think you can see that we are more than good enough in the games, but there's a few details that ain't right. And hopefully Javon can be a part of getting them final bits right. And next up is our New Year fixture against Bowers and PC. <coughs> It's another local derby. Um, will that game be a similar one to today? I imagine so. Um, I think every interview you do, you tell me I've got a local derby. So it will be the same. They'll be quite pumped up. Um, it was interesting. Uh, I think with these games, sometimes we could do with a crowd dragging us through it, generating a bit of energy. Um, I'm trying to teach the players to create their own tempo. Um, but sometimes, even having that voice, them, them screaming, that can give you that final edge. So I think it will be the same away to Bowers. They'll possibly at times slow it down, try and take this thing out of it. And we need to keep finding ways to keep the energy and the tempo up to how we want to play and how we play best.